See, that's why the reason niggas don't like Rolex Army. Because he's the real nigga in the streets. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas out here are real in the streets. In Toronto, niggas out here are wasted. You know what I'm saying? Niggas are, niggas are running off. It's a claim. They're not even doing the one. Pipe down, man, dude. Yeah. Hit them up, don't be chilling on them benches. You ride out trying to shoot all the adventures. Wait, what they know about it, about it, about it, about it. Yeah, yeah, that's why they're calling the cops on me. Yeah. Nowadays I catch a body, got nothing to say. Cause when you do too much talking, they doing the rape. Rolex Ami is one of the most mysterious and hardest rappers I've ever seen in the Toronto rap scene. He has a presence that influences the whole city no matter what it is, even outside the music. But how exactly did Rolex Ami get to this point where he's one of the most talked about rappers in Toronto and someone that people can't wait to get back into the music game? Let's find out. Niggas only chillin' by the robber, by the robber Cause I got knock with my llama, with my llama Car goes around like it's karma, like it's karma Who got your block hotter than a sign of nigga who? Now, although Rolex Tommy used to go by the name Tommy Guns, which we saw on a rap sheet DVD, I saw him for the first time on April 14, 2017 on the Halal Meet music video. You see Rolex hop on the hook of this song, and at first I really thought it was Biggie Smalls or something, I thought they used like a sample or something, but then you see him going to the verse. Now, usually when you have people come out with a diss track like this, it usually ends up being terrible, especially from Toronto, but this was actually really hard, and I really got Vinaldi Stacks and the whole PO movement on the map. Now, in that same summer of 2017, we got the video for Ride, which had everyone on Menace Gang on it we got rolex hami rk and others like k money and casper now this ended up doing numbers at the moment of this video it's doing 2.2 million which is big for the city and this is also when k money was coming up dropping his artist songs in 2017 now i want to make it really clear that this video is just to celebrate the music of rolex hami he would be involved in various controversies throughout 2020 and 2021 but the fact that he dropped a lot of great music during this time is what i wanted to cover in this video the only reason why your trap house doing numbers, tell them Cause I was locked up for six summers Men evicted many known to the streets So we don't give a fuck if he ain't known to police Now we would get the song Avengers K Which is one of the hardest songs I think sonically in my opinion But it really just showed the whole city that he's a talented artist And the fact that that song literally started a war after he released it was absolutely insane It showed that Rolex Hami had a big presence in the city And a lot of people were on the lookout for Rolex Hami Now this Despite this, we would have other rappers that this would influence. We would have Young Lava drop JLK. Like, please, boy, don't get hit with this fire. Please, boy, don't get hit with this fire. We got some tears, but my niggas don't cry. We got some tears, but my niggas don't cry. And this was while Young Lava was on the run and this just shows you the amount of influence that Rolex Hami had. I really like the flow that Rolex Hami used on Avengers K. I think his flow is not something that many people talk about and I think it's very underrated. You know, a lot of Toronto rappers really can't find their unique sound but when you hear a Rolex on the track you know that it's Rolex and it's not someone else. So Rolex just like Pengs has its own unique flow and he really has his own corner in the Toronto rap scene. I don't know how he does it but like he could just say whatever on the track and it would just sound hard. Yeah. I got 30 shots on me, yeah The dead nigga to pop on me, okay This chick's always on the phone, okay now after this we would get a song called 30 shots which still he's super consistent you know you can see that he has its own niche and whatever he says just pretty much sounds hard 30 shots is actually one of the best songs i've ever heard out of toronto i want everyone to keep in mind when i say the best song i'm talking about the song musically and sonically i really don't judge the lyrics in toronto rap now although this song came out uh early 2021 before all these songs i just mentioned we got the song wicker with two of my favorite toronto rappers tutu and rolex Sami. See my squad get the sickest niggas Get the drop, page your haters on the wicker nigga Get the drop, page your haters on the wicker nigga Get the drop, page your haters on the wicker nigga Jeez, got them haters and them drug dealers Got them haters and them drug dealers And you know this is a different beat To me it sounded very medieval uh, with like the violin and stuff in the back but it still just showed you that you have two of the greatest rappers in Toronto's history just going on a beat and just spitting and it really brings you back to Rolex's early days as Tommy Guns and when Toronto was a more lyrical city and this is just a moment that the city I feel like should celebrate musically. I have two rappers that we barely get any music from and they dropped an absolute banger that went under the radar in my opinion so if you haven't heard this song I'd definitely recommend it. Went to war with the sickest niggas. Fact. Smoked a lot of weed over bitter liquor. Bodies getting framed, don't you get the picture? 
Rats calling names to avoid convictions. Now, surprisingly enough, we actually did get an interview with the Rolex Hami and his brother Juni with Two Bridge TV, which I highly recommend you check out. We find out that Rolex Hami, you know, he's just like everyone else. He grew up in the Toronto streets. You know, a lot of rappers literally never do interviews, especially from Toronto. We still have rappers that we don't even know what they talk like on the normal. So we, it was really cool to see Rolex Hami actually get an interview in. Now, unfortunately, current day, we are not getting a lot of uh, music from Rolex Hami due to his current situation. Uh, although this is a common thing in Toronto there's a lot of rappers that actually ended up being in Rolex Hami's situation and ended up actually having a successful career I made a video on Pangs who was in a similar situation to Rolex Hami and is now in my opinion one of the best Toronto rappers but that's gonna be all for this video let me know your thoughts let me know what's your favorite Rolex Hami song what do you think is gonna happen with him and what other Toronto rapper you think I should do a video on and yeah take care but you got guys like that rapping the lives that we live that we didn't want to live, but we have to live. They rap in the lives that we live on a day-to-day -day basis and they never lived it and they're making money off it. Why the f can't we make money off it and we live it? We do this Why can't we do the same? You got these goofs who are rats, waist suits, who are talking the lives we live every day and they're making money off it. Why can't we do it? We do this We live this We did the time. Ask the police about us. the streets. We talking about See, that's why the reason niggas don't like Rolex Tommy. Because he's the real nigga in the streets. You know what I'm saying?